Hey, how's it going? My name is Flex Elio, and welcome to an incredible video where I'm going to teach you everything I've learned in 18 months of acting so you can land perhaps your first TV commercial or your first TV show. So that's what I did following these steps. I hope you find value in this. Uh, I hope you can share it with a friend of yours that's trying to become an actor uh, because no one tells you these things until now. So let's get into the video. Stay tuned. It's going to be so tip number one is make the commitment and the reason for this is because once you find out your why for getting into acting everything else becomes easy and you're able to actually see your career through to the end. So 18 months ago, I was in between jobs and I said to myself, you know what, I think I might be good at this. A lot of friends mentioned that I might be good at it. I had a passion for film as well. And so mental check, this is why I'm getting to acting X, Y, and Z, and then got into it and stuck with it 18 months later. And now we're on TV, which is uh, <laughs> quite insane. So tip number one, make the commitment. So tip number two is make friends. And the reason for this is because I started in the industry not knowing anything and anybody. And that's a really tough place to start. So I hope this video gets you to a certain point, but you really should make some friends because friends give you so much value. They point you in the right direction. They introduce you to people. They review your work. Um, emotional support. There's just so much value in having a support system. And the best thing is, Actors have a lot of camaraderie. Like I've met some incredible people that are now my close friends. Even if we're going for the same role, there's just this ambiance of camaraderie in the art itself. We're all trying to help each other move forward and it's absolutely incredible. So tip number two, make friends. Tip number three is train. So I did not come from a theater background. I went to university a science degree and a business degree and a business master's. No one around me did theater. I didn't come from theater, didn't know what training is. But at the end of the day, if you want to be good in anything, you do need to train. So for me, coming from nothing, um, there's just like a lot of free ways to train. So watch movies and not just for the enjoyment of it, but actually to see like what people do with their face, facial expressions, their tone, their volume, X, Y, and Z. Like these are professionals and you're quite literally studying the film instead of watching the film, if that makes sense. Um, practice in the mirror, you know, see how you say certain things or certain accents or like, you know, what happens to your voice when you become angry, X, Y, and Z. And then if you do have the money, do take some acting classes. So they should be acting classes being offered, you know, either online or in your city. And so make use of that because it will help take your art to the next level. So tip number three, train. Tip number four is marketing material. So at the end of the day, you are the product and you literally have to sell yourself. I literally started with Instagram pictures, Instagram pictures. I put that on my profile. I submitted that to agents because that's literally all that I had. But you need to understand you're competing with everyone else. So what does everyone else have? Headshots, demo reels. Like these are things that you quite literally need to have to compete. So once you start to get comfortable, have a little bit of money, reach out to a photographer, reach out to a video editor and pull together something that can prove that you are good to cast it. Because at the end of the day, that's how you land the job. Tip number four. <laughs> Tip number five is start selling. Uh, because at the end of the day, you might not have an agent right out the gate. I did not have an agent right out the gate. However, you can find jobs without an agent. Uh, there's so many different places. There are uh, platforms such as Mandy.com. There are Facebook groups. There are film schools. There's so many different places where casting goes direct to find talent. And so it's up to you to start selling yourself, regardless of whether or not you have an agent. Start selling. Start selling. Start selling. Tip number six is get an agent. And I know tip number five was start selling, but that was if you don't have an agent. 
but you really should get an agent. I was in a workshop where a casting director literally said this. There are certain jobs you will not see ever because they go straight to the agents. There are jobs you will not see ever because they go straight to agents. That is the reason why you need an agent. Amongst a bunch of other things, if you want to be professional, if you want to get to that level, you quite literally do need an agent at some point. So get an agent. How? There's so many different lists where you can find a reputable agent. So you know, look out for your lists uh, wherever you are in the world. Here in Toronto, there's a list uh, put out by Actra that has a list of agents that are reputable agents. And then pull together a portfolio. Get those marketing materials that I mentioned, pull it together and submit it. I literally sent my first agent Instagram pictures. I landed representation. I'm not saying you should do that, but if that's all you got, you know, start slinging, but it'd be nice if you had something a bit more. So tip number six, get an agent. Tip number seven is leverage because at the end of the day, everything you produce is a business card. That is your demo reels, finished productions, your headshots, everything will lead you to your next job. Um, my second gig was being background in a TV commercial. So I was a star by any means. I was not principal. I was silent on camera SOC. And I was able to like nudge my way onto screen for like two, three seconds. And those two, three seconds were beautiful. I used that to land the next gig and then the next gig. So I hope you get the picture, right? Leverage. Tip number eight is self tape like a boss. And so what is a self tape? Essentially it's an audition that you submit for a role and you get a lot of them. However, one of the things you have to keep in mind is, is that that is your gateway into the role. So make sure that your lighting is well, your audio is good, that you put your whole heart into your performance because that's, what's going to land you the gig. I quite literally for my TV commercial that I landed, I shot the entire commercial in the self tape. Like I did all the lines, all the angles, beautiful. It was pristine. And when I got to the gig, they said, oh my God, like you're the guy that shot the entire commercial. Thank you so much. Like we got so much inspiration from it. Something like a boss. Yeah, I say more. <laughs> Tip number nine is take direction. So once you're submitting your self tapes and you're putting your whole heart into it, um, something might happen called redirect. And what a redirect is, is that the casting is telling you to do something different. And it's very, very important that you listen to them because that's that TV commercial that I landed. My first tape wasn't what they were looking for. I was a bit sad in the tape and they were looking for like just happiness and like quirkiness. And thankfully we had a redirect. So I had a second chance to do, to do my self tape. They liked that one. I landed the commercial. And the rest was history. So be very, very careful by taking direction because at the end of the day, as much as it's an art for you, it's a commercial marketing tool for them. So always keep that in mind. They're the clients, make them happy by all means. Be a nice evening. <laughs> tip number 10 is save the champagne. So if you've gone through all these different tips, you might actually land a gig. Congratulations. However, save the champagne. There's so many things that might go wrong between the time you get the gig and it actually airing. So there've been times where I've been part of short films that never saw film festivals. I've been part of commercials that I got completely cut out of. So like there's so many things that might go wrong throughout the process. So keep cool, tap yourself on the back, let's save the show. Tip number 11 is showtime. So you land a gig, congratulations. And now you get on set and you're feeling all Hollywood. There are lights, there are cameras, you're meeting actors. It's all amazing. But remember, you're there to do a job. So always remember why you're there and what you need to deliver on because they chose you for a specific reason. They saw something in that audition tape that was great. You need to deliver that unless they give you a redirect and do the damn thing. Showtime. Tip number 12 is leverage because you've landed on set you've done the damn thing, you pop the champagne, 
your project is airing it is incredible feeling but you need to remember that that was just one project and your career is going to be made up of a lot of projects so you need to take what you've done leverage it into the next opportunity similar to how i'm doing right now i'm leveraging footage from my previous projects into this opportunity that will hopefully land you and me another project in the future so leverage so that's it 12 tips but i have so many more tips to give you so i'll make you a deal if this video gets 10,000 views i'll drop at least two more tips in the comment section below so please do share this video with anyone who loves film is thinking about getting into acting because i tell you not if i had these tips when i started i would be so much further along in my career so please do share it like subscribe all those things that people say and whatnot um but that's it 18 months it's been an incredible journey dove into a space i had no idea about and learned a lot across across canadian television screens and about to be across u.s streets with a tv show like absolutely incredible and it's been crazy it's been a great learning experience and i hope this video has been a great learning experience so that's it my name is Felix Elio, and until next time you need to get the next gig and how do you get that filming at night in toronto is this leverage like i'm doing on this video right now i'm leveraging marketing materials what do you have jesus christ this siren is for reals <sighs>